Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 21 of All the Mods 9 to the Sky, where uh, we start with we start to, to improve our Civ setup uh, today. So let's jump into the first part of this episode here. <laughs> OK, guys, uh, I just actually recorded the intro for the last episode came over here to check this and well uh, we have the singularity here so we can actually uh mess around with the singularity here real quick so we're gonna need some tiny tnt um We'll need a singularity. We're also going to need an ender pearl dust. So ender pearl dust, which we have some. And uh, we're going to need a lever. OK, so what we will do here is we'll come over here, set down this tiny TNT. We'll set this down. We'll toss the singularity, the ender dust, right beside it. Watch this blow up here. And, uh, okay, so that still took out flooring. It, it, didn't think uh, explosions could happen with how I have my team set up. So we've got this quantum entangled singularity here. Uh, we can press and hold G to open up the guide. A very compact ball of matter. Uh, it tells us how we make it. Required to create a connection between two quantum network bridges. They are always produ uh, producing in matching pairs to create a connection. Uh, one place of the pair. Uh, always produce in pairs, but only requires a single singularity. It might be a good idea to label these with names when you create them. Uh, using a vanilla anvil. Okay, so we don't have to do anything special for it. So all we need now is a quantum uh, network. We're going to need two of these chambers. I, I know we only need technically one of these chambers for what we're going to do. Uh... And 16 quantum link rings. Okay, so it doesn't know how to make energy cells, so Wait, wait, wait. Um, that's interesting that it doesn't understand how to use those. So let's go in here to this and find the quantum ring. We'll place quantum ring in here. And we say energy cells. Save that. And now we should have uh, the ability to say 
quantum link rings, we can do 16. There we go. And uh, it should take just a few moments for it to process all this stuff here. As long as it did not mistakenly place those in the wrong spot. Okay, so this is one of the reasons why this is kind of a nice thing, but also a weird error sometimes might have to get a second extended uh, inscriber and place one more universal press into this to prevent that from happening um so yeah there we go we've got the 16 of these quantum link rings. Okay, does this explain how to set one of these up? No. So I'm going to have to remember, to the best of my knowledge, how to set one of these quantum rings up again. I think we set the outer side like so with five of these and put the quantum link chamber okay yeah and it auto forms the thing so we can stick one of these entangled singularities in here and uh, grab some cables Uh, one, two, we're going to need a couple more. Three. Oh, it has to go into the chamber. That's right. No. Doesn't need to go into the chamber. I guess it just needs to go into... Yeah, okay. Okay, so that now has this. And if we remember correctly from the last episode here, whenever we were pretty much past the entrance line right here, say it was right here, it said wireless out of range. So we go back into the range here. We will put this quantum bridge in here. We put this singularity here. And now we go here, we have access to it. And if I'm not mistaken, we go through a dimension here. And we still have access to it. So we have access to uh, indefinite range here. We don't need the range cards in this anymore. Um, so that is good. Now, now uh, I, I'm going to take about uh, 15, 20 minute break here while I'm working on this while over on twitch.com. Those that were here while I recorded it, uh, we'll get to see the uh, initial setup for the vintage item, though you will see it once we get back. All right. Um, it's looking at something here for, well, later on down the road uh i've got all the stuff that i need uh should have all of the stuff we need done 
But one of the first things I want to do is uh, set a oak drawer here real quick. Uh, I want to also remove this from the storage network here. <clears throat> and uh, the reason why is I want to go in here, grab all of our nether stars out of this system and stick them in here. Uh, now, I want to configure this so that will lock just the uh, nether stars in there. And I'm going to cut that, set this, say, right here on top of uh, the loot fabricator. Because uh, all we're making in this is just nether stars. So I can actually link this up to that controller right there so that uh, I have access to it. Actually, I will do both of those and configure that one also. So only uh, generalized ender predictions go in there. Now, you might be going, Malcor, you still have uh, nether stars in there. How are you going to get them out? Well, we're going to put in a puller upgrade, and I think we want to set the direction to down. Yeah, there we go. And it's just going to pull all those nether stars right out. Quite simple. Quite quick. And we'll have like 2,000 another stars on hand. We'll we'll add uh, some storage upgrades to it later, but for right now that's not too bad. All right. Uh I was going to use one of these igneous extruder to make cobble deep slate, but then I noticed something here. Uh, we'll get to that here in just a second, but it has an EMC value. So what we can actually set this up uh, right here, I think is, yeah, right here is above out of the clouds. So we'll set this up here. We'll put this in here. And uh, we'll just set down this Mark I collector right now here. And that's just going to make us cobble deep slate. Um, you don't know, cobble deep slate, you send it through a hammer, makes crush deep slate. The crush deep slate gets sieved. And, well, we get uh, some chunks that we don't have access to yet like uh platinum and what was the other one uranium so we need that one uh just as much as we need the rest of these so let's see here now uh we are going to I, I've got this area here. If you guys don't know, I've been playing Satisfactory over on stream, over on Twitch. Uh, and so, like, I've been trying to get it, get into a habit of streamlining stuff. So I eye stuff up a little bit more. Instead of my uh, normal carefree methodology. Um... Let me know what you think about that down in the comments. And if you would like to see me play Satisfactory over here on YouTube. All right. We'll place down the cobble gen here. We'll place this drawer on top of the cobble gen. 
Uh, we'll configure this. That can only hold cobble. Don't worry, there, there's a method for our madness here. And now I would like to set up uh, one these guys in the proper direction. All right, so you see that slot right there? That means it's the front method or front for it. We'll just set these guys up here like this. And this will handle all the way down to dust. This one will handle to sand. And this one will be gravel. And we're going to need some item pipes. I did not bring item pipes down here with me for this. <clears throat> and, uh, oh, 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 before we get too much further, uh, I want to connect this storage container to the network. So... We're just going to put a storage bus on this. That way we have access to all of the resources that we've already gotten done. Um, we just need some cable here. You know what? We'll make uh, about 12 cable. And that's just going to go here, here, here. I know it's not pretty. You guys are probably going, your wiring is horrible. Well, yes. Till I figure out where I want stuff permanently. Yeah, my, my wiring gets a little bit wonky. All right. Um, and sometimes I don't ever fix it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I don't. All right, so we've got the three sieves here. Now, let's see here. How do we want the uh, items coming in? I think on the ground would be fine. So we're just going to need some uh, pipes. Just grab some item pipes here. And uh, let's let's clean up these connections because well, that's what we do. So we can easily see the pathing for everything. So this is going to come down. It's going to put into each one of these guys here. Um. And we're going to put in one of these advanced pipe upgrades. And we're going to say round robin. That way, not a single one fills up before the others. So that is that. And... Okay, do we want a buffer between those and the flux sieves? Um, nah, nah, nah. So let's see here. How are we going to get power to this? So...
Let's look here at Flux Plugs. Got, we should have Flux Dust, don't we? Um, no, that's, uh, in turn, uh, the, the, uh, one that is not Flux. Okay, so, it's, uh, Ender I.O. So we'll make some flux here. We'll set this here, put this on top of it. Toss this up underneath there, right click, left click, left click, it's left click. Make some flux here. Uh, I've got a way to automate the creation of Flux Dust, but not just yet. Uh, flux Plux. We're going to need some Flux Cores. Okay, so... I, I wasn't completely prepped here, guys. We'll need a Flux Plug which will need a flux block. And we're going to need a flux point, which needs a couple more sets of those. Uh, we're just only going to make one right now, the flux point. Uh, on top of that, we would like a... Uh, flux controllers, which needs five flux blocks. So, two, three... Five, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and okay, so we would need another set of flux cores here. Which will require a little bit more flux. Um, let's let's just set this up so we've got a permanent place to set this stuff up at. We'll take a couple stones here. Go back to our original island. Uh, redstone. We don't need to go back there. We just go in here. Like, I, I'm still getting used to having the wireless grid, guys. All right. I know for you guys, it seems like it's been a few days and you're like, why haven't you gotten used to it? Um, oh, I thought I had all the stuff for the flux core over here. All right, and a flux controller. Now we can set this. I'm going to set this flux controller here. We have uh, already one person with this flux network on their on theirs. We're going to set this as a private network. I mean, we could put it as public or encrypted, but I'm going private. Uh, because, I mean, see, most people are like, oh, we'll just make it private which is perfectly fine and acceptable. I'm not, I'm not gonna force you to share your power. Uh, we need 
the point here, right? Is it point that receives receipt? Oh, it's the plug. So we'll set the plug there. It's going to go to the network here. Okay, so now we go all the way back over here. We can get uh, a bit of power cables and run them like so. Okay and stick this guy on top here, connect it to our network, and there we go. They're all running at decent speed, and these are guys are going, hey, uh, we're, we're missing our meshes. And um, oh, there we go, we got our Mesh here for this. Mesh in here for this guy. And mesh for this guy. Now they need a output. And so we're going to go into here. We're going to grab three chests. We'll go with these oak netherite chests. All right, we're going to set these oak netherite chests in front. We're going to get a hammer from the X mod set, and we can right click or left shift right click to make them output into these chests. All right, so now that those are done. Um, what I would like to make now is say a hmm. Since we already have this set up here, uh, one of the things I would like to do is go along this section here, uh, add, I don't know, well, no, no, not add a oak barrel. Add this, this, uh, to this here. Unwrench this. Okay, so now we can get a, a couple flux hammers here. And you can spell it right. All right, so we need a diamond hammer. We can make all of this stuff here. Uh, we need a second one of these. And we need a chest. Um, not chest, a functional drawer here. Uh, do -do -do. Okay, so this is going to set here. And what this chest is going to do is get sand.
from these two here. So let's give them power. And uh, here in a second, we'll see sand show up into that. So what we'll do with that sand is uh, I want it to come over here. Let's see here. Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect, perfect. Uh, stick some mycelium there. Let's get our watering can. Uh, spread it out here. Just a little bit more. There we go. Uh, do we have some stone bricks in here? We do, we do. And this is going to be set up for our, uh, eight oak barrels that we're going to have setting here. All right, these eight oak barrels are going to receive water from the sink here. Um, we could actually use the pressurized fluid conduits that we had from that system up there. Uh, however, it's not how we're actually going to permanently set this up. Uh, I want to get to using, oof, not good, uh, laser IO more for our stuff. It's gone. The, the the pressurized tube is gone. All right. Um, so what we'll do is for now just set up, I think, just the first four here. Uh, getting water and stuff. Uh, so we're going to say it's going to insert, not extract, on these. And this is going to extract, never needing redstone. And we'll see that it is actually changing the that into witch water. Um, one of the few reasons why we're not going to be using these is it just does not uh, produce uh does not move the water around fast enough and um and it doesn't move the items around fast enough either so but we can have this extract green always active we can have this uh insert on green, extract on brown, always active, extract brown, 
always active, insert on green. And insert on green, extract on brown, always active. And so there we go. So we can now have a functional drawer. For soul sand. That will be uh, insert on brown. Okay. So now we can go to the configuration tool, lock both of those. And yeah, there we go. That is that for right now. And we're going to need a sieve here. I think we're making this episode an insanely long episode, but you guys deserve it. It is the weekend. So at uh, we're going to need a Flux sieve. Okay, so there we go. <clears throat> and we're going to take this back down here. And we're going to set this guy up so that it is facing this here. Uh, we'll, we'll even share this. So how are we going to get this out of here into this so that it can start processing stuff? Well, first, let's grab one of these meshes. We just put it in there, and I don't know why. And a at functional, we can get a pusher upgrade. We take this pusher upgrade, we put it in here, and we say to the west. And all of that goes into there. So we can stick that in there. And it's saying it's out of energy because, well, we haven't brought the energy over. And now this is sieving and tossing it in with our dust stuff. Once we get uh, enough stuff to make our first laser or a couple laser oh we do actually have the stuff for the first couple of lasers at laser um yeah we already have two of these but we don't have any item cards so yeah we gotta we gotta wait here just a second um Let's take this and make two item cards. Uh, just we'll send it through the furnace here. All right. And we'll say item cards. So we're missing the nether quartz we need for the item cards. 
So what we'll do is we're going to set up laser IO nodes on each of these guys. And they're going to go over to this guy and output. I don't think we've got the ability to do this at this range right yet so we're going to have to make a laser connector here so one two three four five six and yeah, that that looks to be ideal uh, so I'm just gonna let this run for a few moments and we'll be right back okay I've got the laser or the stuff here now we want to make sure that we're on the down Put the item card in here. We want to say you get the extract um, feature. Yeah, we'll, we'll make sure that you extract on channel white. We're going to make this over here channel white. Okay. To be inserted in on. Uh, I'm going to see something here, if we can actually, yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so it's pulling the stuff out of here. And it's going to go, it's going to put the stuff in away in the storage unit that we have over there. So I'm going to have to build a laser node for all of these. I think when we come back next episode, uh, what I'm going to do here is set up the processing of these zinc, these ores here into the system we want. Um, also, I'm going to build a flux hammer and a flux sieve for these as well and have them go into this uh, chest or into their own chest. I think maybe into their own chest right here. So uh, until next time, guys, if you like this episode, hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, go right ahead and dislike this episode. Um, tell me what you liked and disliked down in the comments. And until next time, y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. And later, Gators.